hung out at the rainbow, I also wanted to have like a rainbow there and me in the background. Like what is in front of me is in back of me at the same time. Life and to me requires that I be able to engage in all these different things because the variety, the mixture is what really makes my life come together. I love to say I'm an architect, and it is my life. Pretend I'm Google for images, and I'll tell you how my mind works. Beauty? And on regular Google, you put in a keyword, and then maybe the first two pages of hits are on the subject, and then it gets off the subject. Sunset over by the Denver Airport. The book about black beauty. For each person, there's a different code, there's a different way, there's an interpretation that we just have to all come to grips with. I'm not the single minded, single track person, a specialist. I, I just cannot narrow my life down into one or two tracks. I, I have three or four different things. Every day could be like a life. If you have issues you need to deal with, they'll keep coming until you get through them. It's almost like uh, I could burn through 100,000 lives in this lifetime. Change is important for me not to stay the same. In a day, in a day, in a working day, I have to and I seek out maybe two or three different things that I do in a day. It's uh, enlightening, engaging. It uh, actually kind of saves my life. It's not something that we manufacture that is new and distinct. It's always been there. It's just up to the human being to get back and to, and to see and to feel what's important for us. You know, when you're doing something that you love, it's not like you're working at all. You're not. If I didn't have this here, what would I have with people walking by? I'm not uh, doing artwork, I'm house painting. I think learned by architect how to, I guess, design. And I just do that with things in my yard. I get to decide where I want things. I like stuff that gets weathered. I just started doing artwork on the porch, like stacking stones and uh, doing uh, little displays. And people would always come up to the door, are you open? And it's like, yeah, my door is open, but I'm not a store. Maybe for a few minutes or so, I, I can take them to a, to a new place. If they can see these objects change and move in a different way, they can do that themselves. I don't have to be stuck in this concept. I can change that, I can move that around. Yes, I got hit by a truck, and that caused difference for my brain. I've been down.
Yeah, I, I used to like search around for all kinds of complicated meanings of life, but you know, it's, it's real simple. You can do things that uh, make uh, make other things better. Everything is creating. So you do it the same thing and it's you can see. It that way. It's I would not get rid of my autism because I like my clarity of thinking. Autism is a continuous trait. You know, going from kind of quirky and nerdy, you know, to very severe. Einstein today would definitely be labeled autistic. You know, Van Gogh or Mozart, most the other people that would be on the spectrum. And if you got rid of all of the autism genetics, we just have a bunch of social yakety yaks that wouldn't get anything done. It offers me a way to say things. Interesting thing about Van Gogh in his picture, Starry Night, when you have all swirls up in the sky. Those swirls match a mathematical uh, pattern of water turbulence. Now, that shows that visual thinking, visual thinking, and mathematical thinking in most people is, you know, covered up by language. Don't worry me. It is just part of what I do. This, this is where you just have to believe in yourself that all this other stuff is, is out there. But you know, you choose a different path. You know, that's a gut reaction. How do you feel? This is part of my giving experience that when you give, no matter how much you give, that hole inside is full. It's continually full so you never feel empty because you're giving. It's a two-way back and forth. If I try to take in, it's a bottomless pit. But if I give, it's full. No matter how much I give, that, that center part of me feels full. You have to see how you can define how you see it. Something that I did made something better for somebody else. It's just doing things for all the right reasons in the best way that you can do it. I, I feel it's a, a real success in a different sort of way. I never wanted the white picket fence. And it's there, and, and there's nothing you know, that you can do about that. And it's just there. You know? <laughs> Thank you.